All right, after Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg made the stunning admission to the House Judiciary Committee on censoring stories, the struggle for freedom of speech online continues with Elon Musk's X at the forefront of an effort to stop censorship online. Let's bring in Jonathan Turley, a constitutional law attorney and a Fox News contributor. Happy Labor Day to you. Thank you uh, for laboring with us and being here you. to give us your insights. Uh, free huh. speech, particularly in some of these online platforms, is really under attack all over the globe. We've seen the recent arrest of the CEO of Telegram uh, across the pond and just to the south of us in Brazil, X. Uh, take it offline, Are the courts involved in that. Your thoughts on what's happening globally? Well, you know, I discuss this in my new book, The uh, Indispensable Right, which looks at what I believe is the most dangerous anti-free speech movement in history. I mean, the book looks historically at all of these movements, but we've never seen anything like this one because of the alliance of corporate, academic, media, and governmental interests. And when, when you had this recent uh, statement from Zuckerberg, it was more contrived than contrite because he had spent years resisting revealing what are now the Facebook files. Uh, that was long after the release of the Twitter files by Elon Musk. It was, in fact, the release of those files and Musk uh, taking down much of the censorship system that made him uh, the target of this anti-free speech movement. And, you know, Zuckerberg and Facebook were a very important part of that movement uh, in censoring uh, people with the coordination of the government. And so these files confirm what many of us have said in testimony to Congress, that we have a system that a federal judge called Orwellian, uh, which is restricting what people can speak, targeting groups, uh, not just in terms of censorship, but even targeting their revenue. Yeah, and, and when you talk about free speech, there's an effort, what's hate speech, what's misinformation, who controls it, what the government allows or doesn't allow. And one of the things that you're really highlighting right now is what we don't know about what's going on behind the scenes in these very powerful platforms until, as you mentioned, Elon Musk, for instance, threw open the doors, reinstated a lot of conservative voices back onto X, that sort of thing. In your book, you talk about uh, the figures, the failures that have shaped us, but you say, and that shows the unique dangers of our current moment. What are the unique dangers right now? Well, those dangers could not be more significant for Americans. This right is called the indispensable right because free speech is the right that all other rights depend upon. You can't have freedom of religion, association, without the freedom of speech. And it is under attack, and the attack is sophisticated. It is a dangerous conceit to believe that just because we made it through earlier crackdowns on free speech, we will do so now. We have never seen anything like this. Uh, there is an anti-free speech movement uh, that has swept over Europe, uh, places like Germany, England, France. A recent poll showed that only 17% of Germans now feel comfortable uh, speaking their mind on the Internet. 19%, only 19% feel comfortable speaking in public. That's the result of this, this wave that is now reaching our shores. Now, our own anti-free speech movement began in higher education, and it's now metastasized throughout academia and me the media and the government. So Musk has proven a critical figure at a critical time. I mean, this is really a case of the irresistible force uh, meeting the immovable object. He is the immovable object. He's the one person that the anti-free speech movement was not able to coerce or silence. Zuckerberg collapsed like a house of cards. Musk did not, and he is still in this fight. Absolutely, and he has a lot of money to fight with as well. Uh, Jonathan Turley, <laughs> delightful to have you with us. Thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.